In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace your fuel pump and sending unit on your Ford Explorer. It's located inside your fuel tank. On the front side of the engine right here, you're gonna find a fuel Schrader valve. This is on the fuel line here. I'm gonna reach down and unscrew this little cap. Wearing safety glasses, you wanna go ahead, run some towels down around here. I'm gonna go ahead and depress this center right here. We're gonna use a tool to push down in the center and push down and release any fuel pressure that might be in that line at that point here. You might get a little mist of fuel coming out of there, but at this point here, we don't have any fuel pressure in our fuel line. Once you're all set, go ahead and install that cap again. Locate the notch on the top of the wheel here behind your center cap, use your pry tool. Gently pry outward and remove your center cap. Using your 19 millimeter socket, go ahead and loosen and remove the nuts. Go ahead and grab that wheel. Remove it from the vehicle and set it aside. Now before removing your bolts on your skid plate, you wanna go ahead and get some sort of jack or something underneath to support the shield. It is heavy, it's a little complicated to handle as a one person deal and you don't wanna drop this on you. So we went ahead and put a jack underneath this here. Let's go ahead and remove our bolts. We're gonna remove these two bolts holding the front side of our gas tank skid plate. Prior to doing this here, we did soak these down liberally with a lot of rust penetrant. On the back side, right on the bottom side of the frame rail behind your back wheel, you're gonna find this bolt right here. Jack. There's a tab right here up underneath this brace here supporting the front part of the, the gas tank shield here. Now on the front side here we have two 18 millimeter bolts. Before you remove these here, make sure that you reposition your gas tank jack underneath the vehicle. Loosen and remove these. In order to get this bolt out, we did go ahead and pop off the little retaining clip right here to get a better shot at this. Drop down. Using our quarter inch socket, we wanna go ahead and loosen these clamps holding our fuel lines to the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that hose clamp around there. And a little bit of effort, twisting and back and forth and pulling it, we'll eventually get these off. Now at this point here, we're gonna slowly lower our tank down. We wanna go ahead and expose the fuel lines on the top. We wanna go ahead and disconnect those before we drop the tank too far. But now we can go ahead and slowly lower this down a little bit at a time, giving us access to those lines. And we have a harness connector right here that is pressed into the inside of our frame Right here, there's a little plastic locking tab here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and tap these tabs. That should give us a little bit of room to use our trim tool. Here to go ahead and pull this out. Now that we have this harness free, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it. There's a little lock tab right here. Gotta push that in and wiggle this connector. Now I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna push in on this little tab. And we're gonna gently, gently pry. This connector has been stuck together since 1997 on our vehicle, so it was a little stuck. So now that we have that disconnected, we're gonna go on over to our fuel line right here. There's a little metal retainer clip that assists in this line locking in. Flathead screwdriver, just gonna go in here. I'm gonna lift up on the clip side that is on the external line connection. This is gonna pry up. And there's a locking clip, so we're gonna pop that off like so. We have a line right here coming through. There's a little plastic locking collar here. We're gonna pinch these two sides, and then we're gonna push in and then pull out. I'm gonna push in just to try and break some of the corrosion a little bit. Pop that off like that. Now right here we have one of those special tools here. It actually releases the lock collar on the inside of our fuel lines here. You're gonna to wanna to have these available what you do is you slip it over. So you do this one here, slip it over the line, push it back into push it back into the line. And try and pop this one off here. have a little bit of residual fuel coming out of there. I'll go ahead and get that other line here. And there's our second line. We'll pull off our clip. With everything disconnected, we can now lower the tank. I'm going to disconnect this connector off of the fuel tank pressure sender here or sensor. Go ahead and work that off. Now we have a series of bolts across the top here. These are all eight millimeter. I'm going to go ahead, loosen and remove these here. Now before doing this here, we did go ahead and use our wire brush to clean off our brass bristle brush because we don't want to create any sparks here. We cleaned off the scaly ruster on the top of our tank. Yours may not be like that, but if so, you want to keep any debris from falling down inside the tank once we remove the fuel pump and sending unit. I'm going to go around the top here and loosen all of these first. Now that we have them all loose, let's go ahead and spin those out. Before you remove this unit, you want to go ahead and have a catch can or something to catch any residual fuel that is dripping off of the pump and sending unit when you remove it from the tank. Go 
Go ahead and lift up on the unit. Go ahead and lower the unit down inside. Now that we have this lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that these little nubs are up. That's the, basically our rubber seal inside. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of our bolts started by hand first. Let's go ahead and snug this down. You can feel the bolt snugging down. You can almost feel the gasket seating as well as you snug these down. I'm gonna make sure those are pretty tight. one more time around, making sure that this is sealed. At this point here, we're gonna take this connector here, gonna bring this around and hook it up. Press it in, you'll be able to hear it and feel it snap into place. I'm gonna go ahead and push the front side of our tank up and in. Raise up the back half. Pop off these two caps. Press that fuel line on. You can hear it and feel it lock into position. this clip back on. Let's go ahead and get this bolt started here. Let's go ahead and work our hoses back onto the tank. And then once those are fully seated, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down those clamps. Just going to feed our skin plate up and in. What I want to do is grab the two front bolts and we at least get those started by hand. Just a tad. I want to make sure we can get the two back bolts lined up and installed first, and then we'll come back and tighten all four of them down.
Once that's all set, I'm gonna remove our jack, lower the vehicle down, put the back wheel on, and you're all set. Go ahead and grab your wheel. Get that installed. Get our lug nuts put on. I'm gonna start these all by hand, get them started a few threads. And once all of these are on, we're gonna go ahead and snug them down. Good and torque down our driver's side rear wheel here to 100 foot pounds. And go ahead and install your center cap. You're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.